everyone, welcome to Yunfei Workshop. I'm Pong Pong. This video is beginner guide to wet felting with template receipts. In this video, I'm gonna share with you what is template and receipts, and how to create your own template receipts for your wet felting project. So let's dive in. What is resist? A resist is a material that we place between layers of wool to create three-dimensional shapes or horror design. For example, this is flat piece. We can simply create it without a resist. But for this kind of design, a bag, or this one, the envelope, like this, then a resist is needed. What material you can use for creating a resist? You can use a variety of materials for your resist, such as plastic, foam, or even a bubble wrap. Just choose the one that won't absorb water and won't be dissolved. My favorite material for resist is this one. It is polyethylene foam sheet. And it's easily that you can find it everywhere because it's commonly used for packaging. Now let's talk about template. A template is a shape that you use as a guide for your wet felting project. And how can we create a template? To create a template, starting by drawing the design on the foam sheet and cut it off. By using just one piece of foam sheet, you can create a lot of different design. Like this one, last month I did it, that is um, coaster and over means two way usage, like this one. You can create like this, or like the one, this is uh, for storage, the receipt. And also like this bag, you can create something like this, or this one, the tip pot cozy. You can create something like this. It's pretty cool, and even you can create one wooden doll like this. However, you cannot cut your receipt size as the final desired size, because as we all know, during the whole wet felting process, the wool fiber is gonna shrink. Last time we talked about the shrinkage, right? If you haven't checked that video yet, go and check here because that is very, very important. And so, for this reason, we have to larger the resist size. But how much we have to larger it? Here is the secret. To do this, you have to know how much it will shrink and then by using the reference you have from your specimens, then we can calculate how many times bigger for the template resist. For example, my specimen's final result is 3 inches times 3 inches square and the initial size was 8 inches times 8 inches. By simple calculate, 8 divided 3, then we got this number. So the layout is 2.6 times bigger than the final result. Therefore, if next time I want to create one over meat and the desired size is 5 inches times 5 inches big, I need to larger my template 2.6 times bigger. So my layout will be 13 inches multiplied 13 inches. Remember, factors will change when the thickness is different. So don't forget to make your own shrinkage sample. Okay, now you know what is template and resist. You can take your wet felting to the next level. Be creative and try some different shapes and design. Leave the comment below, let me know what kind of design you want to create. And if you like this video, please give me a like, please, please, please. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Then you won't miss the next tutorial video. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.